Alright y'all, I'm back at it again with another video. Today, I got a little something different. Y'all know, y'all know, I'ma start streaming at a thousand subs. We ain't got that yet, so we gonna do it this way. We pre-recording, but we got Black YouTube has gotten even worse by Cameron. Or Cameron, I don't know which way he says that. But anyways, <clears throat> yeah, I feel like this is right on my alley because I feel like I know a lot of, it, a lot of shit about what he's talking about. Because, like, most of my... Most of my YouTubers are black that I watch, honestly. Like, I listen to a couple white ones. Not saying, like, I prefer one or the other. It's just a fact, you know. We're speaking numbers. <laughs> but, uh, we're gonna see what the fuck he's talking about. And I feel like, I don't know, my channel, it's not, I, I really, it is a, it's a reaction channel. But I also just, I feel like I got a lot of shit to say. Get off my motherfucking chest. And I'm gonna do it here. Because, you know, everybody got a voice, you just gotta use it. You know, start your YouTube channel, do whatever the fuck you want on it, because it's yours. <laughs> My little sister got a BBL, that's, asking that's homeless atrocious. people freaky questions. Little wow. RT 20. Yeah, that one. That one right there. Hold on. Asking homeless people freaky questions. Little. Bruh. 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 What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? I hate. I'm gonna say I hate them, okay? But most of these niggas that be making these videos. Oh. They are just. Like. A real nigga. And a real ass bitch. They gonna peep them. And they are annoying, bro. They're the aggravating these niggas for real. <laughs> Like, it is not 2016, brother. Like, why why are you even condoning this bullshit? And it's not even just with the... With the kids, it's with all of it. It's disgusting, brother. Y'all be real disrespectful in there, too. Like, And I'm not talking about all of them, but most of them. It's bullshit, bro. It's, it's bad for your brain. It's turning it to mush, for real. RT 20v1. This is actually getting out of hand. A few months ago, I dropped a video titled The Problem with Black YouTube, and in that video, I basically talked about how I feel like there's two types of black content creators. One kind cares about their content and what they actually put out on mm -hmm. the internet, and the other kind basically just trend hops and spams the most literally content possible. All the public internet. It's cause like sex sales, bro. But it's like those channels get so old, like. When it first started, probably like, what was it? Probably like 2015, 2016. All that shit was like really popping, right? People still be on the same shit, bro. And it's disgusting, bro. Like, y'all really like need to get some help. Because <laughs> there's no way. No way, bro. You and like 20v1 spamming YouTubers. Exactly, for real. Has gotten a lot of mixed feed. You just put a famous person versus all these other people in like doing what exactly? <laughs> Kind of, it's kind of gross, y'all. And some of them, some of them are really entertaining and, you know, <clears throat> has substance. But a lot of them don't. Feedback, you know, some people said that I was spitting in that video. A lot of people even gave me a lot of props for speaking up about this issue. And then some people thought that what I was saying was kind of a, a, a little Uncle ruckus -y. Some people were even saying that I wasn't the best spokesperson for this because I speak proper and I sound what? white. Even though, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure last time what I said I'm black. I don't know, y'all tell me. I guess I gotta sound black as well. I don't know how a black person is supposed to sound, but y'all tell me in the comment section below. Overall, there was a lot of mixed feedback <laughs> with that video and in today's video i actually wanted to return to that topic of black youtube i like this nigga bro he funny but he also smart not too many niggas is funny and smart at the same time probably that big ass head you feel me but i feel it my nigga you know i feel it i got a big ass head too once again because i've been seeing some things and i'm not gonna lie it's low-key getting insane starting with these 20 v ones now mm -hmm. with these 20 v ones they were pretty popular like six the 50 v ones after i saw the 50 v ones i was like okay this shit's gone out of hand 
maybe <laughs> seven months ago and they're still pretty popular till today if you're unfamiliar with the 20v1 i mean basically it's one person versus 20 other people and they just speed date each person each round that's pretty much it now like i said these 20v1s are still popular till this day and nothing's really <laughs> changed with these except for instead of using adults they are now using children that's as you guys saw too far, in the bro. intro yes there was a crew all draped all ditties all Drake, Diddy, and Dahmers, bro. Like, y'all fucking weird, bro. Creator out here who created a 20v1 with Little RT, the 10 year old rapper. If that is not insane, I don't know what is. I genuinely yeah, don't. Instead like, of there's no way y'all thought, there's no way y'all clicked this and thought, oh, this is cool to watch. This is chill to watch. Like, this is, this shit go hard. There's no, <laughs> there's no fucking way, bro. Using Lil RT as a side <laughs> character like that one guy did, he's now upgraded to a main character, and they got this man speed dating children. But yeah, that's like the only changes they've made with these 20v1s. Other than that, everything else it's is disgusting. pretty much the same. Still scamming their fans with the Cash App link in the description. I swear that shit, I hate that shit. I, like, and I know damn well that shit don't work. All the real niggas know that shit don't work, bro. But once you click that link, they get a little, little something, something. You feel me, a little affiliate. But like. It's, like I said, it's so annoying, but, like, they gotta move on, bro. They gotta move on. Aiming that you're gonna make $750, and we already know how that goes. Cash App <laughs> is not giving you $750 exactly. for free. That just exactly. doesn't make sense. That's a terrible business move. They're still <laughs> using the exact same intros as one another, and they're also still using the exact same profile pictures as one another. Like, there's literally zero creativity when it comes to these 20 That's what I'm YouTubers. saying. Now, one specific 20 They're all the same. I really want to talk about right now, because I... I and I feel like they gradually get worse. They gradually get more sexual, more like raunchy, more like just, just gross. Just gross. All right. And like, you're doing it just for clout and just for clicks and just, and like, it's the wrong type of clout, the wrong type of energy you should be wanting, but okay. I feel like this is the elephant in the room is this little rt 20 v1 a few crazy. weeks ago i was scrolling on twitter just getting in my daily scroll and i see this poster 20 women versus little rt it's in atlanta and i also saw that reddit logo in the bottom right i don't know what reddit has to do with this but i just looked at it and i thought it was a troll but then about a week ago i was scrolling through twitter again about and a week i seen ago. a clip from this 20 v1 <laughs> and when i tell you i was shocked hey hey what's your name tayden what's your favorite color blue Okay, all right, Nick. Now, this video is made by a YouTuber by the name of Mike Adelabu, who's pretty much another variant of, like, No Love Mar, Ryan with the Sauce, all those yeah. cornball 20v1 tubers. A majority of his content just revolve around 20v1s. Like, if we look at his last 12 videos, you can see that he did nothing else but 20v1s. And before the 20v1s, this man was basically just doing the find your matches and putting his friends on freaky blind dates. Like, he was basically just doing this cornball content, pretty much. And I guess 20v1s got super boring so we just had to spice it up by adding children to the mix you may be thinking like hey, that's oh, Cam, so you might weird be overreacting you know maybe this nah, 20 one isn't that bad no it's exactly what you think this is a children's dating show this man literally held a children's risen competition this is not the Disgusting. tiktok riz party this is the youtube kids riz party none of these kids are over the age of 13 years old what was going through this man's head when he was thinking of this video man uh, 20 are getting dead man Let's add some children to the mix. Like, bro, what the heck? What's crazy is this man also added boys to the mix to make it seem like Lil RT was there to find friends. When we know the true intentions of this, like I said, this is a children's dating show. This freaky ass cornball got a room full of kids to try and riz up Lil RT. Is that not weird? I want to know what adults allowed their kids to get on this video. I genuinely want to know. Like, this is actually insane. Oh. What? Oh. Like, bro, just let these kids be kids. Why are we putting kids on dating shows? That is weird. I have no. Especially. Tw I have no words, bro. I just don't even know what to say, bro. Like after all the shit we've been been through in twenty twenty four, these niggas gonna go and do this shit. But why is it always the niggas? Bro? Like, what is wrong with y'all? Like, what is going through y'all's head in those moments? Exactly. Nigga, that's a child. 
And I love how it said horny women. Like, nigga, these aren't women. They are little girls. Children. Like, what the fuck? What? Twenty v ones. I find it so insane how much Lil RT has been used and abused. And that's, just what I'm, exploited. that's what I'm saying. Like, where where are these parents, bro? Where is this guy's parents? They really just in it for the bad. Through the black community, y'all need to stop using and abusing this kid for your own financial gain and just let him be a child, bruh. Why do we need Thanks. videos of Lil RT swiping dudes for his mom or assisting dudes in a 20v1 or even Lil RT being on a 20v1? Nobody needs this content. What's crazy yes, is literally at the end of nobody. This Lil RT 20v1, this man has the audacity to say, Y'all, let me know what y'all think. Let me know if y'all want to do another one or y'all just talk to me, chat. Let me know. Man, I just held the latest dating show for children. Man, if y'all want another one, make sure to tag your little cousin in the comment section. Tag little Timmy, tag your little sister, any kids. I want them all. Like dog. Bro, I be them. I be them. I be done. Jump the nigga for real. Try to get my blood. Hell no, nah, nigga. Nigga got me fucked up. That's why I'm saying, like, where are these kids' parents? Any family, anybody. Hide your kids. Hide your wives. <laughs> Read the room. Nobody wants another little RT 20v1 or another Hell children's no. dating show. You know this video is bad when this man turned off the entire comment section. This man probably Facts. got tons of hate for this. And I'm not going to lie, yeah. his hate is justified. And if you yep. thought that was bad, Facts. well, let me tell you that these 20v1s get even worse. Because there's actually this 20v1 with this rapper that goes by the name of Finesse Two Times. And it starts off as your average 20v1 that you'd see on Black YouTube. But then halfway through, Finesse Two Times son came in with them on the second round to basically just stick by his father's side while he's talking to these women and the way that these women and finesse two times talk right in front of this child Bruh. is actually weird it, it's yeah i feel like uh you can tell the kids is nervous too like they over there biting their nail like can y'all not tell when like your child is like not feeling comfortable like y'all not supposed to be putting your children in uncomfortable situations especially none like this like, you don't want your kid all up on camera, all up on social media, all up in the... Like, that's weird to me, bro. That's weird. It's weird. It's genuinely disgusting. So, after you not, do you stay hard or you get soft? That junk get soft. I ain't gonna lie, but... Bro. I'm gonna go for about 40 minutes for that junk even for round two. Stop. You might not take 40 minutes with me. Cal. I'm just trying to see what's the freakiest shit that bitch ever did to you. Mine one time, right? Bro, this too much, bro. Look at him. Like, he watching his daddy, bro. And that's what people don't know. They think, oh, they kids. They they don't know what's going on. But they won't remember it. They won't, you know. But I promise you, bro, they watching you. And they gonna take after you. You gotta set a right example. Oh, God, this a bitch from Atlanta. Cause she married now. Oh, God. I had a bitch with eating that right? Yeah. Man, this bitch got off this bitch, started sucking my toe, cuz. If you spit my mouth right now, you gonna have to leave this on me right, though. Sick. What? You said when you got out, mess with some skinny girls. Right. What would you say? The only reason why I can't get skinny girls out my head no more, right, cuz cause, cause one time, right, man, I was hitting a bitch from the front, right, and man, man, she just got the square neck with mm -hmm. My head up. I feel so bad for this kid because you can literally see it in his face. What? He's not yeah, he nervous. any of that. No child is trying like he is zoning out. Like he is disassociating. <laughs> like, bro, what the freak? I don't hear this freaky ass conversation, especially coming from one of his own parents. Bro, let that man play Spider Man. Making girl squirt in front of his son. Bro, when I was young, the only thing I knew that squirted was my squirt gun in the closet. Facts. Why is this man talking about Facts. how he be making women squirt in front of his son? That's insane. If one of my parents were speaking freaky deaky right in front of me like this, the only option I'd have is to drive off of a cliff at 300 miles per hour in GTA, of course. And if you thought that this. For real, though, like going up, like. Hell no. They even kissed. They even hugged. It was like, ew, disgusting. What is this? This is, nah, this shit ain't it.
disgusting hearing people talk about these sexual acts during these 20v1s? What about them actually doing these sexual acts? There's literally a 20v1 with the rapper JP, and mid 20v1, this man got that MW3 dome, if you catch my drift. Basically, he was just yapping it up with these girls, and this girl was talking about how she's got that Gawk Gawk 3000, you know? It goes crazy. So you ever had with no gag reflex or no? Of course. Yeah. I've had several. Oh, I can show you, but I can tell you. And JP basically said that he needed proof of that gawk gawk, right? So they go to the back, and this man starts getting gawked off mid 20v1. Number one, this is disgusting, and I feel bad for this woman's parents, future kids, and anybody that associates with her. And number But, and then the dude, too, though, like, I know y'all look at the woman, but it's like, as a female, as a real ass female, as a grown ass woman. That shit is not attractive, bro. That shit's nasty. Like, off rip, like, you ain't got no, like, your energy is all fucked up, bro. Your aura is all fucked up, bro. And I ain't fucking with it. You're weird. <laughs> like, that's weirdo behavior, bro. It's just disgusting. To the Repulsive. <laughs> like, ain't no grown-ass woman gonna fuck with you. You doing this dumb-ass shit fact that all these grown men are just standing around eavesdropping listening to another like it's cool like they in high school or middle school or some shit bro man get his meat slurped up it's completely odd to it's me. these dudes bro, literally look like some cheerleaders bro you're outside for real you're like oh my gosh jp you're really getting your meat slurped off right now oh my gosh this is amazing and if you thought that, that 20 v1 was bad well it gets even worse because there was also this other 20 v1 where this girl literally spit into one of the other contestants mouths to basically show how freaky she was <sighs> oh i don't want to see this i don't want to see this i don't want to see this He liked it. He liked it. Oh my gosh. When I tell Oh my gosh. I actually started it. Gagging, bro. That shit was disgusting. I heard it. I, I didn't see it, but I heard it. Bro. In a way. That clip almost. That clip almost made me throw up. I almost yeah, like, exactly. I stopped myself right there. Seeing that clip, it's it's disgusting. These 20 yeah. V1s need to stop. Like, when are we gonna wrap these up? I feel like they've had their time, you know? 20 V1s were cool at one point when the Sidemen was doing them, yeah, when facts, Jubilee facts. was doing them. But do we really gotta facts. continue to make these? You white room work. DDG, you know, he kept his, you know, respectful. He kept his, you know. It wasn't no... But it's too far. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Warriors need to stop. This content is just bottom of the barrel. Can can we think of something else? Oh wait, we did Anything. think of something else. Pop the balloon. If you're unfamiliar um, with pop yeah. the balloon, basically, basically the same. It's like the new 20 v ones. And yeah. how it works is a bunch of contestants line up with a balloon in their hand, and each round a person comes out. And if a person with a balloon likes you, then they don't pop the balloon. But if they don't like you, then they pop the balloon and they explain why they popped it. Now I will say, I did like pop the balloon because there are a lot of funny moments in there. Like when an ugly dude walks in and the whole room just sounds like the 4th of July. All right, so like, um, ladies, Bro, what the... how y'all feeling based off? Wait, wait, the fuck? Like that is peak comedy. Or when that one dude who looked like a Ninja Turtle was just cooking all the women on. I can't lie. I do watch way more balloons than the V's, than the V1s, for real. Because, I don't know, I feel like you just get more content. You get more, like... People gonna speak more, oh, this is why, blah, 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 blah. And then, obviously, the comedic timing, bro, of the balloons. Like, that's just hilarious. Because you ain't gotta, you ain't even gotta talk. And that's just funny. <laughs> On there, your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. Brianna, 26. And my eyes are, are up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoo? No, I, I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms. That was pretty funny, you know? It's There's crazy. some pretty That's funny tough. moments with those. But now, I feel like the format is just becoming way too overused. Why does everything have to involve balloon popping? The other day, I seen a dude playing pop the balloon in Roblox. And that's not even the craziest part. The craziest part is that they got the actual white room in Roblox as well. Like, bro, this is getting out of hand, bruh. These white rooms need to be put to an end, yeah, dog. Whoever has real. a hold of these white rooms, they gotta start. Y'all actually going crazy in them white rooms, bruh.
I need to wrap it up. Charging more. They gotta start <laughs> charging like an arm and a leg rather than money. Because if I see one more video in a white room, I'm actually gonna flip. Especially these blind dates. I seen a dude doing blind dating based off this shit. This shit. Okay, with the actual fits. Okay, I get it. But I seen one with the bikini, one with the with the shirts off, one with the no. That shit's not getting watched by me. Y'all gotta watch, like, y'all gotta protect your energy, bro. Y'all just really be watching whatever. <laughs> it's just gross. Come on, bro. Baby pictures. Is that not weird, bro? Especially coming from these freaking <gasps> ass channels? That's even weirder. There are so many creative things you can do on YouTube, and you're telling me that blind dating based off baby pictures is the best you can do. That think is of? so that weird. That is insane. What's crazy is, is this so freakiness weird. on black YouTube is also transitioning over to Twitch. And if we know one thing about Twitch, they what? could not give a singular F about freakiness on their platform. <laughs> Twitch would let a woman put jelly beans up her booty hole if it meant that they were getting six prime subs by the end of that stream. Twitch could not care less. That being said, a little bit ago, Deshay Frost, a large black content creator, also okay. former actor, Deshae. was getting that yep. MW3 dome live on stream for content. Oh my god. What? She tracing my shit. And what's crazy is this isn't even this man's first time what? because he's done it before. Oh, Ruby Heat. <laughs> you who? Ruby Heat. Like Miami Heat. Ruby Heat. Ruby. That's your first name? Like all together Ruby Heat? That's my He a freaky ass nigga, bro. I didn't know this nigga was into this shit. This shit's weird, bro. <clears throat> this does not make you that guy, bro. I hope they ain't grown ass men out here thinking this this is cool. <laughs> it's humiliating. It's little boy shit. <laughs> I better not catch none of my AMP boys doing this bullshit. Hell no. Nah. My stage name. Say hey, what's your real? I want to know your real name. I like really want to get to know you. What's your real name? Bryson. Caitlin. Like Bryson. Caitlin. Caitlin. Okay, Alright, so look, if you was to describe yourself as a Halloween candy, what would you be? Oh, she said, Ooh. What is it with these dudes getting the dome midstream slash like, mid recording? Is like, is the dome that necessary where For you real? need to get it mid recording session or stream? Like, what? How if you're recording, you could literally just stop. Like, y'all just doing the weird shit, bro. You being a, you being, you being an actor right now, bro. You being the only fans, girly. Stop it. <laughs> Y'all be talking bad about OnlyFans girls, but then you really won recording this shit. Like, what the fuck? What kind of weird shit is that? <laughs> Groupy ass shit. How necessary is the dome? That's all I want to know. <laughs> That sounds that sounds crazy. Wait, that sounds insane. Now, am I surprised that Deshay Frost is getting dome midstream? Not at all, because this is the same man that made a video about his little sister getting a BBL, and also the same guy who made a video basically acting like he walked in on his mom creating freaky content. And I say acting what? because the video is obviously fake. Um. Why family members, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> he a fan, he a fan, he a fan. Bro, this is so hella good, though. <laughs> what? Bro, what? What? What, bro, what, what the fuck doing, is bro? going on, bro? I mean, what is going on? You told everybody to be upstairs, but we're recording. We're doing something, bro. You told me to come, Mom, you told me to come over here. Bro, and you told me to come over here. You told me to come over here and get some food. And if you thought that the freakiness from the shade yeah, no. stops right there, well, this we're just getting started because this freakiness this continues. You got this man falling. That's what I'm, like, from now on, that's what, like, it's Drake, Diddy, and Dahmers, bro. That's what y'all niggas are. Just straight up weird in every which way, bro. <laughs> on a woman's butt on stream. Stay up, bro. Bro. Bro, you gotta clean this shit up over here like this, for real. You got this man biting on a woman's butt? Ah! Why are you taking so long? <laughs> oh, wait, don't bite me hard. Nah, nah, nah. They okay. gonna clip this, but fuck, I'm good, bro. You got this Bro, man what? recording a half naked woman running across the street, Bro. and then you also got this man forcefully humping a woman on Kai Sinat's stream. Fumble, fumble, fumble. 
<laughs> Bruh. Why is this man Bruh, so the freaky? Fuck? The shape wrong. Bruh, this nigga thirsty as fuck. He thirsty as fuck. Get this boy some milk. You need to be neutered, bro. This man reminds me of one of those dogs that just hump everything. Why is this man so horny, bro? This man For is real. the freakiest frog in the pond. If a bag of flour had a BBL, I'm convinced that Deshae Frost is crushing that in a heartbeat. No questions asked. All that being said, I find it insane how us as a black community have stooped to a new low in content creation where we're putting 10-year-olds on dating shows, getting dome on stream, and scamming our audiences with a fake cash app in every single... We need to look at who's allowing it, I feel like, you know, because there's always a route to it. <clears throat> and uh, all these platforms, they're so quick to, you know, ban, shadow ban, you know, block, you know, cer certain content. And I feel like it's e it's easily done. We've seen them do it. And they could easily not allow this type of content to be <laughs> on their platform, yet they do. But uh, so I don't think it's like, you know, trying to like blame the black community or anything of that nature. But I do think it just being connected to like the entertainment industry and the music industry, because that's what you see in a lot of rap too. So it's like it kind of correlates, <laughs> no cap. But uh, yeah, I just feel like we should try to take a look at who's who's allowing it, who's regulating it. You know, maybe maybe we'll find some answers there. Try to solve it from there, honestly. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe for more. I appreciate all the love and support, and I hope to see y'all next.